Recently, I was scrolling on Instagram when I saw an ad for digital billboards that you could book online. I know businesses use those all the time, but my first thought was like, I wonder if they'll let just anybody put up a billboard. So that's what I'm setting out to test in this episode of the Studio Review. The reason that I'm doing this is because one, I'm kind of just curious if billboards still work. Like do people go home and look up what they saw on a billboard? And two, I kind of want to figure out like, what they'll allow you to put on a billboard. Turns out there are some pretty strict guidelines for what you can and can't say on a billboard, which I think is a good thing, just so people aren't spreading misinformation or hate speech or anything like that. But I really wanted to see where the line was with how ridiculous or absurd I could make my billboard. I wanted to start with something fairly tame, so I went with some shameless self-promotion. All right, I'm like a mile away from the billboard. I'm so nervous for some reason. I think part of me like doesn't believe that it worked. Oh. I think I see it. <laughs> it's just over this hill here. <gasps> no way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it worked. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it worked. Holy cow. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna park. Gosh, that is funny. All these cars coming through this intersection see that as they drive by. <laughs> that is crazy. I've always wanted to see my own name up on a billboard. I don't know if this technically counts since I also paid for the billboard, but a win's a win. I don't know right now, but at the end of this video, I'll be able to tell you how many conversions came from these billboards. That is so cool. <laughs> so I'll be able to tell if there's like an unusual spike in subscribers, but the other way I'll be able to tell is from these landing pages I've set up on my website. Basically, I tried to come up with very unusual search terms that would only come up with the result from my website. For example, a very obscure name, a name like Todd Butts Uncle. No one exists with that name, at least as far as I know. It's just a funny name that I like to use when I'm asked to sign something that's not important or in videos. I'm Todd Butts, uncle, here with Charles Whitman. I was partially inspired by the Coldplay album Milo Zyloto because I remember hearing a while back that they deliberately chose that name so there would be no other results when people searched for it. I created a blank page that says Todd Butts, uncle on my website, so hypothetically that should be the only search result that comes up. This is hilarious to me. The billboard company actually rejected the Todd Butts, uncle billboard at first, but it's not not because I used a made up name. It was because all political ads have to have a paid for statement at the bottom. So I resubmitted it with the phrase paid for by the studio review and then they accepted it. Please do not write in Todd Buttsunkle on your ballot in 2024. He is not running. Also just for fun, I put up a billboard in Billings, Montana that says, is your soup too hot? Try a pickle instead. <laughs> and no, that's not supposed to make any sense. I thought about making it say, if the soup's too hot, drop a pickle in it, or something completely different like Engelbert Humperdinck fan club join now. But as it turns out, there's already an Engelbert Humperdinck fan club, so I didn't want to step on their toes. I figured if I was going to spend money on billboards promoting Todd Buttsunkle and the pickle industry, it was probably worth it to also get a billboard that would put something positive out into the world. So I booked one that says it's going to be okay. I made a longer video explaining why I chose to end every episode of the studio review with that phrase, but the short version is that people are experiencing anxiety and depression in record numbers. And I know that's something that I've walked through in my life. And if there's one thing that I could go back and encourage myself with, it would be that, you know, when you're at your worst, when you feel like you're at your lowest point, um, even though it doesn't feel this way, eventually things will get better. It may take a while and it may not end up perfectly, but eventually you're not gonna feel as bad as you do in that moment it is gonna be okay. And I know some of you watching resonate with that message as well. So if you wanna have something that reminds you of that or be a part of sharing that message with the people around you, I now have merch that says it's gonna be okay. And to announce that merch, I actually bought a video billboard in Times Square. And not just any billboard, it's actually the largest billboard in Times Square. Check this out. You can purchase the hat that I'm wearing in this video a replica of the neon sign from the wall of the studio, high quality t-shirts that I really like, and vinyl decals for your car or laptop. 
I also threw a pickle in at the end just for kicks and gigs. I still can't believe I was able to do that. Like right next to Elphaba and everything. As of right now, this is a limited merch drop, so it'll be available until supplies run out. In addition to the Times Square billboard, the week that this video comes out, there will be billboards that say it's gonna be okay in San Francisco, Atlanta, San Antonio, and Boston. Okay, time for the results. And before any of you statisticians watching have a heart attack, I know that you have to have a larger sample size in order to identify correlation. But according to my analytics, 300 eight second billboard rotations gets you seven page views. That's between the Todd Butts uncle page and the it's gonna be okay landing page. Honestly, better than I expected. I just searched Reddit, Twitter, and Facebook and none of them have any results for Todd Butts uncle. <laughs> Meaning no one posted saying like, hey, who is this? Also no abnormal spike in subscribers on YouTube. Either way, this whole thing cracked me up, so. Still worth it in my book. All right, don't forget merch is available until it's gone. And more importantly, just remember that even when it doesn't feel like it, it's gonna be okay. I'll see you soon.